Hello everybody, Tim Teacher here. Today we're going to do a series of very small dialogues, ten of them in fact. The dialogues don't necessarily go together, one, two, three, all the way to ten, uh, but they do go together uh, about the same topic and you can see how maybe uh, the dialogues happen over a couple days or later in the day, some in the morning. You also see uh, some different characters. You'll see uh, Joe, and you'll see Joe's mom and dad and Joe's counselor and teacher. So as you listen to the dialogues, you should be able to tell who is speaking. Speaking today with me, of course, is my lovely wife, Lucy. Hi, I'm Lucy. Okay, so we'll go ahead and start. Number one, this is Mrs. Adams. I'm concerned about my son's grades. Would you like us to schedule a conference with his teachers? Yes, that would be great. I'll go ahead and schedule the meeting. Will you call me when it has been set up? Yes, I will call you tomorrow and let you know what time. Number two. I'm mostly worried about his English grade. Well, I'll make sure that. His English teacher is uh, present. He did rather well in math. If his math teacher can't make it, that's okay. I'll try my best to notify all his teachers. I can come to a meeting any day except Thursday. All right. I won't ask them to come on Thursday. Number three. Hello, Mrs. Adams. I'm Tom Parker, the school counselor. Mr. Parker, I want to do what I can to help my son. We're all trying to help him. He's having trouble with English. I know that. I see him struggling with that. His teacher tells me that Joe turns in homework late. It's very difficult for him to finish it on time. Number four. I'm Judy Wells, Joe's English teacher. What can we do to bring up Joe's grades? For one thing, Joe should turn in all his homework. Has he missed any assignments? Yes, he has. Last week, he failed to finish a book report. Oh dear, I didn't know that. Number five. Mrs. Wells, I would like to have a copy of the assignments. Here's a copy of all the assignments. I wish I had this list earlier. It's not too late for Joe to improve his score. What exactly is Joe's problem in your class? Joe makes a lot of effort, but English justice isn't easy for him. Number six. Hello, Mrs. Adams. I'm Phyllis Jones, Joe's math teacher. Hi, Mrs. Jones. I'm Plays. Placed with, his, with Joe's math grade. So am I. I think your son has a lot of ability in math. I'm mostly concerned with his English class right now. Although you want to bring up his English, I think he could also improve in math. He should get an A. I'd like to help him in math, but I'm not very good in math myself. Number seven. That's all right, Mrs. Adams. I know he needs to improve in English. I don't want him to get behind in his English homework. Certainly, but when he's caught up, I'd like to give him extra credit work in math. I'm sure he would enjoy that. The extra credit work will help him with his final exam. Joe is a little nervous doing exams. Number eight. How was the meeting with Joe's teachers? It went very well. It was important to get to know his teachers. Did they suggest ways we can help Joe? Yeah, his English teacher recommended we hire a tutor. That's a good idea, but isn't it expensive? At the school, they have a list of tutors that are reasonable. Number nine. Joe, you haven't written your book report yet. I'll write it tomorrow, Mom. But you and your friends are playing soccer tomorrow. I'll write the report tomorrow night. But Joe, you will be very tired tomorrow night. All right. I will write... I will start writing tonight. Will you help me? Number 10. Joe hasn't done his math homework yet. He usually leaves it to the last minute. I've already spoken to him twice today about it. All right. I will go talk to him. Maybe I can help him with his math. His teacher said that if he gets stuck, he can call. I will try helping him first. If we can solve it, well, we will call his teacher. 
All right. I hope you enjoyed the dialogue. You can see they all go together. They're all about Joe and Joe's struggle with uh, specifically his English class. Uh, you can read them and you can practice them with your family and friends. Thank you very much, sweetheart, for doing the dialogue with I me. I was a little bit nervous. That's why I made a small mistake. That's okay. <laughs> hope you're having a great day. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.